So what kills people with cancer? People think that it's because, oh, you get cancer in your liver and your liver conks out. That's not true. But actually, what kills people with cancer is what we've come to call swamp gas. My name is Ken Pienta. I'm a professor of urology and oncology at Johns Hopkins. Trying to understand and explain how prostate cancer works and how it spreads from one place to another and coming up with analogies for that is one of my favorite things to do. Let me give you an example. I used to, when I was young and naive, I thought cancer is just so mean, right? It's like a lion. It's the apex predator because nothing stops it. And what ecology taught me was that there's no way that cancer cells are apex predators. And the reason is, is in the food chain, the apex predator is always the fewest in number, the strongest and the most vicious, but they're the fewest in numbers. What cancer is, is an invasive species. If you look at the way that ecologists talk about invasive species, it directly parallels how we talk about cancer and metastasis. It comes into a place where it's not supposed to be and goes through a period of dormancy where it's very small and not really doing much and then it just all of a sudden explodes and takes over. One of the things that most amazed me about the first few autopsies I did was I would see a liver that was 90% full of cancer and they had normal liver function. That got us to thinking about what really does cause a patient to die who has cancer. An invasive species comes into a new environment, it disrupts the ecosystem, it disrupts the organ. And when it does that, it creates its own new ecosystem. And we have come to term that ecosystem the cancer swamp. By growing so rapidly, the cancer cells actually create an environment that's got not enough oxygen, it's got too much acid, and not enough nutrients just like a swamp. What does a swamp produce? Swamp gas. What these cancers produce are a whole myriad of cytokines and hormones and growth factors that are released into the body. Those factors do things to your body and are what actually cause most cancer deaths. For example, if they, those act in the bloodstream, they cause a blood clot and you can die of a blood clot. If they do act on the liver and the muscle, they cause muscle wasting and in the fat, you get cancer wasting syndrome. And if they get into the bone, they cause so much pain that you need so much pain medicine, you actually die of needing too much pain medicine. Cancer kills people, not because of the volume of cells, it kills people because of what it releases. It poisons you. 